we saw all these search terms that people typed in that we would never have thought of. So my particular client was thinking down just one specific track of what somebody might type into Google. Welcome back to the Talking Web Marketing Podcast with myself, Ilana Wexler. This is a show where we reveal the best tips, tricks, and tactics to increasing your website traffic and then converting that traffic into leads and sales. We also discuss what's working right now in the ever-changing world of web marketing so you can apply it to your business. Hi, Alana Wexler here and welcome to another quick tip episode on talking web marketing. So these quick tip episodes is where I'm going to share a traffic tip with you that relates to Google ads, Facebook ads, or really any kind of website traffic, be it paid or organic. So these are super short episodes and today's episode, we're going to talk about what to do if your business is in a very tight niche or niche for our American listeners and often the challenge for these people where they're in a very tight industry is it's quite hard to get in front of your target customer and often the best way to get in front of your target customer if you're in a really specific industry is to do Google search. So somebody goes to Google and types in a specific query that deems them to be your exact target customer in your weird and wonderful industry and you're there sliding your business card under the nose of someone at the very instant that they've typed this in and we have lots of people who do this and it works really well they get really high click-through rates they get good conversion rates and everything looks good and then invariably what happens is they come to me and they say hey Alana this is working really well we want to do more we want to get in front of more of these people but the problem with this strategy, as good as it is, you end up buying all the possible search traffic that there is. Because the reality is there is a finite amount of people searching for your weird and wonderful product or service that you offer. You can't actually make more people search for it if they're not there. So many of these people are running sort of, I guess, tight search campaigns, be it somebody's got to have typed in this exact thing into Google. And, uh, and as I said, you max out on that, traf- on that search volume. You buy all that profitable traffic. And the next challenge is what next? So one strategy that we find works that uh, I want to reveal in this episode is um, an extension of that. So what, what's the next step? And I was having this conversation literally with a coaching student the other day who's happened, this exact thing has happened to him. So what we did is I suggested that he implement a broad match type keyword to run in his Google Ads account. So normally for 99% of the businesses that uh, I help and also run in my agency, I would never ever dream of running a broad keyword, you know, a broad match type keyword. But for a really, really specific niche or niche, uh, very sort of weird and wonderful industry, it might be worth trying, or you trying a broad match type keyword because we did this for this particular client and it worked like a charm. So this particular client, he, uh, without revealing his business, obviously, he, uh, sells a product that helps people pass a specific type of exam. So it's not just any kind of student, it's some student who has to pass a specific exam. And we implemented a broad match type keyword. And what happened is he got a huge uptick in impressions, clicks and leads. And when we had a look through the search term report, which tells us what somebody actually typed into Google that triggered them to see the ad and and click on the ad, we saw all these search terms that people typed in that we would never have thought of. So my particular client was thinking down just one specific track of what somebody might type into Google. But when he had implemented the broad match type keyword, then it opened the door to a huge amount of keyword or search term variation that gave him the idea of, oh, of course, like somebody would type in that. And of course, somebody would type in this other kind of instance. So 
it's loosely related and it's definitely the type of customer that he wants, but he had never thought of it and would have never thought of it had he not implemented the broad match type keyword. So if you're in a weird and wonderful industry and you're struggling to get in front of enough people, it might be worth trying this strategy, but I do urge you to put it in its own ad group. So separate it so it's separate from all your other keywords, give it a really small budget because you don't want Google to kind of uh, go crazy with it and spend a huge amount of budget. It's just a test and please ensure you have lots of negative keywords associated with that broad match type just to ensure that Google also doesn't go crazy on that front. And you might be surprised like we were for this particular client. So there you have it. That's our quick tip episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, you can download the show notes at talkingwebmarketing.com. That does redirect you to uh, the blog and podcast section of our website. And you can download the show notes there. And we've got a whole bunch of other free information that you can check out there. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for future quick tip episodes.